Hello everyone, welcome to HP Extreme, the new generation of hot process soap making. This is Sharon with Rose of Sharon Essential Skin Care. I'm so glad that you've decided to join me today for the making of Flowers in Bloom Hot Process Soap. This soap will be created using a slab mold from Workshop Heritage. The link will be provided in the description box below. But before we get started, I wanted to announce the long-awaited release of the SJHP SBHP ebook tutorial and recipes, 10-minute hot process soap making with Sharon Johnson. This ebook is over 70 pages long and contains easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions on how to make hot process soap on the countertop in 10 minutes using a stick blender. If you follow all the directions and use the simple recipes included in this ebook, you can create a lovely hot process soap with swirls, colors, and layers. So say goodbye to dry and chunky soap and hello smooth fluid liquid hot process soap yes fluidry in motion as my good friend marlene always says so i say invest in a soap mold and change a bar of soap or invest in my ebook and change your soaping career so make sure you get your copy today I know, enough talking about ebooks. Let's get started and make some soap. I recently saw a YouTube video by Soapish, S O A P I S H. Sorry, guys, being a court reporter for over 15 years, I've gotten used to spelling things out for everyone. Anyway, Soapish created her cold process soap called Thorns and Roses. I saw this video and fell in love with her soap and her technique. Yes, her soap is cold process, but I wanted to make a video using the same tools and technique and demonstrate how this soap can also be created using hot process soap. I will leave a link to the soapish thorns and roses video tutorial down below in the description box. So I suggest you go over to her channel and watch her video as well. And don't forget guys to like, comment, and subscribe. And the wonderful fragrance I'll be using today in the making of this soap is called Iwo Joe Garden Fragrance Oil Essential Oil Blend from the Chandler's Rose. That's spelled I-W-O-J-O. And the link to her website will be in the description box below as well. So make sure you go visit her website because she has absolutely amazing fragrance oil and essential oil blends. For this soap recipe, I used the palm oil recipe included in the ebook tutorial. I also used 38% water to oil ratio. So this hard oil recipe will produce nice and firm bars of soap immediately after unmolding. Okay guys, now that I've added my mica colorants to my soap as well as my fragrance oil, it's now time to layer the soap in the mold. And I alternate colors, black, white, black, white. And I do so around the tubes. And the tubes are held in place by dipping them in melted cocoa butter, otherwise they will shift and move around in the mold. And that's a suggestion from Soapish. 
and I tell you it works so very well. I had absolutely no trouble at all with my cylinders moving around in the mold. And here I'm spritzing the tops with alcohol, which makes it a lot easier to swirl the top of your soap. Oops, don't you just hate when that happens? And here I've added about a teaspoon of water to both colors to loosen the colors up just a bit. So there you have it, Flowers in Bloom Hot Process Soap. I'm so glad that you were able to join me today. Please stay tuned for photos from the cut. But also before we leave, I would like to say to you, may God continue to bless you, keep you, and shine his face upon you. And remember, no matter what happened yesterday, today, or even tomorrow, God's mercies are new every morning. God bless you, and I can't wait to see you next time. Don't forget to rate, 
subscribe, and comment. See you next time.